right so here we go folks we are back at battle bunker it is lucy versus luke stormcast versus the forces of death on this flourishing world for some reason the gash has summoned his hordes to this restful place so if you haven't already please check out battle bunker there is some awesome gaming tables for age of sigma and of course 40k discounts on products and like I said, some brilliant, brilliant tables, and there's always something going on. Today's mission, however, the Stormcast are facing off against the death in a game of blood and glory. So we've got one objective down here, one here, one across here, and finally one in front of the spirit horse there. So the aim of the game is to have more models than your opponent within six inches of each objective at the end of the game. If you move off it, you still count as controlling it until your opponent takes it. So, before we go over the first turns, let's have a look through the forces. Right, so here we go. This is 2,000 points of Lucy's Stormcast. So we've got the main force and then a battalion. So the main force is heroes. We've got Lord Celestin on foot. He's taken a quick silver portion uh, as he is the um, general and he has a five up uh, ward save against mortal wounds. We've also got Lord Castellant and for battle line we've got two units of five liberators, the primes having a grand hammer each and we've got two units of five judicators with the bows, the primes having the shock bolts. And we've got paladors here with the hand shock axes and the prime uh, has a lunar blade and to round it off we've got Lord Celestine Prime himself. He doesn't make it out very often, uh, but he has plus one attack uh, with his hammer. And the reason he's got that is because Lucy's also took a battalion. And this is the Vanguard Justicar Conclave, consistent of three units of Vanguard Raptors and three units of Ether Wings. And what that does is if the Raptors target a unit that is within 12 of a unit of Ether Wings, they get to reroll ones to hit. And if the entire unit of Raptors targets the same unit, they get plus one to wound, which means these guys are hitting on twos, re-rolling ones, wounding on twos. And of course, these guys will then be wounding on threes. So there's two with long strike crossbows and one with hurricane crossbows. And that is 2,000 points exactly. This is Luke here with 1880 points worth of death. Um, saving 120 for summoning. Uh, so to get started, we've got 10 Graveguard with the Great White Blades. Uh, we've got 40 Skellies, so a big horde here. Two units of 10 Zombies. We've got three Spirit Hosts, five Black Knights, five Hex Wraiths. Uh, the big guy at the back, that's a Mortis Engine. And our heroes, we start off, we've got a Winged Vampire Lord. Uh, the Necromancer and the big guy himself, uh, Vampire Lord and a Zombie Dragon, who will be rocking Red Fury and Cloak of Mist and Shadows. Right, so Lucy won the roll off and she decided to start going first. She's basically dropped different bits and pieces along the lines, as you can see. She dropped the battalion in one go and has kept Liberators and Celestin Prime in the Celestial Realm, which meant that Luke, unfortunately, finished setting up second and he's got masses of hordes at one side and then the faster moving stuff and his lord at this side and Lucy has nominated Luke to go first so let's move into hero phase and movement right so hero phase this guy is using dread knight on himself and then mystic shield so uh, this is plus one to cast then so I only need uh, five which he gets and of course Lucy can't stop it Dance Macabre again because of this. It's a five plus. Yep. And he gets it on a double four. And he is going to try and summon some skellies. No uh, so problem. It's a five plus. And this is for is this for ten skeletons? Ten skellies. If I get over ten, I think it is. But we'll check if I do get high. Uh, I get twenty. Oh, Four fails. Fail. Uh, these will shamble and hoard in the one unit. Yep. So that's one unit at 20 now. And finally, you said your dragon was going to use the cloak of mist and shadows, was it? So to basically teleport. Teleport to 12 inches. And then he gets to do his movement as well. He does. Oh, that's horrible. 
<laughs> right. And that is my hero phase. Let's get on with movement. Right, so movement phase. Luke has basically pushed these guys into cover. The grave guard have moved up, as has the skeleton horde. We've got the winged lord leaping on top of the realm gate. And at this side, the knights and the mortis engine have all pushed forward. So, shooting, we've got the pestilence breath. Now, there is five judicators in that unit that Luke is going for. So, on a... If I've rolled five or less, it's an automatic hit. Yep, so they hit. It's a two plus wounds, minus one rend. Oh. So two plus minus one rend, Lucy. So they've got a five up. Five up. Five. Oh, very good. Is that it for shooting? That's my shooting. Right, Not the shootiest arm. <laughs> <laughs> Charges then, what's charging? Well, clearly the uh, Vamello and the zombie dragons. Yep. Uh, and I don't think anything else is really in range, is it? No, not really. Nothing else is in range. Yeah. Oh! So the zombie dragon? Zombie dragon it is, so he needs a three. And he makes it in. Right, so first up he's going to attack the Judicators with a Vampiric Sword. Which is three plus three plus minus one round. Scrap. Yep. Oh scrap. no! <laughs> Uh, next up is his mouth, Dragon Maw. So yep. Two attacks, fours and threes, minus two rounds. Jesus. Oh, this is horrible, this, because I've, I've took damage from a Bloodthirster. It's D6 damage that if it goes through, isn't it? It is, yeah. Yeah, my mate did 11 damage to us. <laughs> and Sword Like Claws is six attacks. Six attacks with the claws. Yeah, which is fours and threes. Come on, get something decent. Fours and threes. Three wounds. Minus one, two damage. Five up. Oh, two damage each, which means... Six. Yeah, six wounds kills three of the Judicators. So, Red Fury now kicks in. Luke has done six damage, and he has to roll less than six for it to kick in for the dragon to fight again. So, six or not? Yes. No, so he fights again. So, the lance? Uh, the sword. The sword. Uh, Vampiric Sword is four attacks, threes and threes. And uh, threes to wound. Minus one rent. Three wounds, minus one, five up loose. Pass oh. one, pass two. two, fail one. D3 damage. Yep. Two, two damage, kills one more. So I'll bite you again. Two attacks, fours. fours. And threes. Three. Ah, oh, that never Fails. comes off. And uh, sword like claws, which is six. Yep. Uh, fours and threes, minus one, two damage. Only two. Big three. That's two wounds. Minus one. She passes them both. Oh, <laughs> oh my word. Oh, you can hit back but yes. you get to hit back now. And is your prime, so you plus one to hit. Yep. But that means you now have to save Battle Shock. I think Judicate is a bravery seven. Five plus the three is eight. Minus bravery seven kills the last guy, unfortunately. She needed a four to pass. So that would have been first blood if we were playing 40k. Really? <laughs> that really would have been first blood. Right. <laughs> so hopefully Luke's actually going to go into 40k because after re reading the new rules. Yeah, I love it. Great. Yeah. Next month. Next month. So hopefully expect to see more death this month. More death. <laughs> and we will see more death very soon. So let's move on to Lucy's turn one. Right, so hero phase for the Stormcast Castellant has give plus one save to the Liberators, which means the Liberators now have a three up re-rolling ones uh, because of the shields. And Castellant, or Celestant rather, is using his righteous fury, which gives all models plus one to hit in the combat phase within Friendly nine models. inches of them. Hmm? Friendly models. Friendly models, not enemy models. Right, so do your Liberators come in though that's in reserves on a three plus? They do, so let's get on to movement. Right, so movement phase. Lucy has moved the Judicators and the Raptors forward and both units of Aether Wings are pushing forward into these guys to support the Raptors respectively. These Raptors jumped up into the ruins for plus one to their save. 
The Palodors chose to ride the winds of the Etheric and Lucy has pulled them right this way. How much did you roll? 18. 18, that's not bad, it's better than before. Uh, and one of them is going to be within range to shoot this guy. The Liberators are moving round and these Aether Wings have pushed forward as well. So Lucy does have options as where to shoot with the Raptors. And finally, the Liberators at this side dropped in nine inches away from the Lord. So, Lucy, who are we going to shoot with first? These Raptors here. And where are they going? I'll give you three guesses. The Dragon. Yes. So hitting on twos. Rerolling because the ether wings are within 12 and this is part of the battalion. So three hits and you're now wounding on twos instead of threes. That's three at minus two range. So, four plus. Yep, four plus because of Mystic Shield, Luke. And he's got a shield, a normal shield. Uh, so four plus, Deathless Minion. Right, but it's two damage each. So six Deathless Minion. That is pretty beefy. That is beefy. So six, six sixes. <laughs> so he's lost six wounds from one lot of raptors shooting at him. I didn't save one. <laughs> it's preposterous. You should have passed some, definitely. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Definitely. <laughs> so, six wounds is. How many has he got all together? 14? 14. 14. That's pretty beefy. Uh, next up, we've got a single bolt storm pistol from this Palador. Two shots. Nope. Nope. Yep. He's gonna go for the dragon. The dragon as well. Yep. So hitting on twos, re-rolling because the ether wings are there. So two hits, and all target the same unit, so the plus one to wound. Two minus two. Two more. So two and four. Four. Passes them both. Oh, I needed that. Okay. Next up. D6 hammers from Celestine. From Celestine. Five hammers. All going at the dragon. All at the dragon. <laughs> Four plus suffers a mortal wound. Oh, nice. That's four. Four, four deathless minion. Saves one. So he's on nine. So he's down to five wounds, is that now he's got? Yeah. Oh. So, Judicators. White dice is going to be the prime with a shock bolt. One miss. Yep. So three to wound rolls plus the extra three from the other shots. So that's, that's six, six dead. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yep. And next, Lucy's got these guys. Now she did move them, which means the prime only has six shots now. And where they, where's he going? Into the elite unit. The, gr the grave guard. So yeah. if the entire unit is going to target them, Lucy, you would get plus one to wound because the ether wings are there. Yes, so this is just the prime roll, so threes. Hitting on threes with the prime. Rerolling ones because of the ether wing. Yep. And now you're wounding on threes instead of fours because yes. the whole unit's targeting them. So it's three. Three. No end on no the end. No end on the grave guard. So five plus. Yep. I get deathless minion because the left guy. Yep. So is it just one damage actually? It's yeah. just one damage each, yeah. So come on, sixes. No. Are there two wounds each or one? one. Just and one wound. Do you want to know the bad news though, Luke? That was just the prime out of that unit. <laughs> He's the other two. So these are hitting on fours, re-rolling ones. And there's a few ones there. So three hits. Now you're wounded on threes though. So two, two wounds. Again, rend. no rend. Five plus. Jesus. Deathless minion. Six plus. None. Another two. Another two. And I think that is it for shooting. Yep. Right, charges. Who's charging, Lucy? Liberators. Everyone over there. The liberators. <laughs> three inches, yep. the three inches away, that just gets them in. The other one? Nine. Come on. No. Eight inches, we'll measure that one up. So next up, Lucy's done these two charges. She's gonna pile in with these guys. Now, the bad news for Luke is, these now get essentially hit on twos because they're at plus one, thanks to Lilo the Tyrant, and they're plus one because of Celestant. 
So three attacks with a grand hammer and then eight normal ones. Hitting on twos. Couple of ones. And then wounding on threes. Two at minus one rend and five normal. Uh, wounded on threes. Oh, sorry. So, Luke, you've got two at minus one rend. I'll do those first. Yep, for, these are for two damage each as well. Right, okay, so minus one rend, uh, so that'd be three plus. Yep. Oh, what? <laughs> <laughs> and then four deathless minion because the two damage each. Great. So he's on 12. But then you've got three two-ups from the normal attacks to make. Don't roll all them ones. So is there any rend on this? No rend. So it's a two plus? Yep. Yeah. And he's fine. So he's on 12. Yep, which means, uh, yeah, two wounds left. You're going to get the swing back at Lucy. Okay, so the Vampire Lord's going to hit back against Lucy's horses. The Paladors. Okay, let's see what you can do against these. So first up is the Vampiric Sword. Four attacks, threes and threes. Two hits. Threes and threes. Get in. Two Minus wounds. One. Five up. Fills them both. D3 for each. Oh, that's five, five wounds, which is going to kill one of them outright. And if I survive this battle round, I heal a wound. Right, what's next? Uh, next up is the Dragon Maw. Two attacks, fours and threes. One hit. Big three, come on, get in. Got it. That's minus two. So six up. No. And that is D6, come on. That's five, big five kills another one which is going to leave the Prime by himself. And I only get, because I've suffered mm, 12 wounds, I only get three yep. on my sword-like claws, which is fours and threes, minus one. One fours. hit. And one threes. wound. Fail. And that is minus, uh, so that's two, two damage. Two damage, so, so the I've Prime. Caused, I've caused 12 damage there, haven't I? You which have. Which means I can attack again instantly. Oh, that's because of the red fury. fury. Red fury. So I would roll a dice, and if I got less than the wounds I caused, yeah. I could attack again. Because yep. I got 12. So back to the sword. Threes and threes, minus one. So three. three, five ups. Two D3 damage, and he's only on three wounds. And there we go, that's four damage. Kills the entire squad. Right, so battle shocks. These guys are okay because Lucy only killed four, which means that even if Luke rolls a six, they're fine. These guys are bravery 11 though, because there's 14 of them. So Luke has to roll a six to lose another one, which he doesn't. So dice off for turn two. Who's going first? Luke is going first. Right, so hero fears for death. Okay, so I'm actually going to do my command ability on myself again. I completely forgot to use this. You forgot ability. it against me as well? Yeah, I know, I know. It's, which is reroll and failed hit roll. So hopefully this time I remember. Yep. Um, he will cast Mystic Shield on himself, which yep. is uh, six plus. Six for Mystic Shield, yep. And he gets it on a 12. Yeah. Uh, Dance Macabre here on this unit. Yep. Uh, which is a six again. That and that goes, goes off as well. I'll try and summon zombies, which is actually a four plus, it turns out. It is, yep. Uh, four plus. And he gets it. So what Luke's going to do now, we've double checked the rules, and because Luke picks the order that things happen in the hero phase, he's going to summon the horde of zombies here, within an inch of that unit, and then in the hero phase, this unit is going to shamble and horde into that one. <laughs> Basically. So is that is that 10 zombies for 120 or is it? Six. No, I'm just going to do 10 for 60, which leaves us with 60. Leaves you with 60 summoning points. Which is six. So you could potentially do it again. Yeah. yeah. Done, I'm going to roll a d6 to see how many zombies come back. Yep. They're shambling hoarded together. Well, <laughs> for uh, one more. Yeah. Uh, and the grave guard get d3 back. That's not good. D3, so I want to make a fit. Oh, you get the three back. Right, so this dragon heals. Is it D6? Did you say the Chalice of Blood? Chalice of Blood, D6. Gets three back. Puts him up to five now, is it? Eight wounds taken. 
so he's got six left. And I will go with my Valakri. So 4d6 yep. distance. Hopefully I can reach. 12 wow. inches, that's not oh, bad. I think I'm out. No, I think you're in. Yeah, I'd say that's in. So yep. that unit. So that unit suffers D3, that unit heals D3. Okay, so do you want to roll the D3 for the dragon first? How much does he heal? Two more wounds. And then the Liberators suffer D3 mortal wounds. For three, so one Liberator is cut down and one is going to take a wound. Right, so moving phase, the Grave Guard have pushed forward, as have the Skeletons, but the Lord has stayed up here. Luke's also pushed the Knights and the Hex Wraiths forward. There's some Liberators and Luke is definitely trying to take this objective and uh, the Reliquy has moved towards these birdies as well. Luke only has one shooting attack though, so Pestilence Breath on the Liberators. You have to roll less than the number of models. That's correct. So there's four in the unit and he rolls a six, so it doesn't auto hit. Uh, so it's a four plus the hit. Oh, well, and he misses. <laughs> so, Combat. Charges. 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 Lucy's got an announcement though, Lou. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and they've been 12 inches. 2d6. And so are they. <laughs> so those ones can move 6 inches, and these ones here can move 10. <laughs> Lu Lucy actually bet a wound on the zombie dragon, but uh, Luke wouldn't take it. Are these ones moving as well? They're not moving. Okay. But they're going to move 10. Where do you want them to go? They are moving. Where are they moving? Five inches. Right, let's move them and then we'll do Luke's charges. Right, so Lucy's pulled all the ether wings back and she's took them ones that way to try and shield the raptors. So, Luke, what's charging? We'll do the hex wraiths. Yeah, yeah. Hex wraiths. At the liberators? Aye, you only needed three. Which they get pass. For well, the reliquy next. Which is five. five. Yes, it does. And then the Black Knight at the Liberators over there. Which is a big one. Seven. Seven. It's probably going to make it. Yeah. yeah, he does. No bother at all. Right, so the charges, Luke has made them all. So the dragon is going first and Luke has remembered his command ability. So we got four attacks with the sword, freeze and freeze. Three rolling fail kits. <laughs> <laughs> Typical, isn't it? Yeah. Three plus, minus one round. So three at minus one. So Lucy still has a th three... three. Yep, three up because of Castellant, uh, Celestant. And I heal two wounds, but only one's wounded because of Castellant's ability. Yep. So, so basically, if a seven is rolled, she's adding one to the roll because of his ability in the hero phase. If a seven is rolled, you get a wound back. Right. So that actually at least does, you know, keep the unit alive a little yeah, bit longer. Definitely, definitely. Uh, so dragon roll. Yep. Uh, would be two attacks, four fours, threes. Oh, re rolling. Snake eyes. Snake eyes. Two hits. Freeze. Get it. Two Minus wounds. Two. Five up. Passes one. Re roll one for the shield. And passes it again. <laughs> no, unfortunately. So I've taken six wounds, which means I'm on five for the sword like pause. Yep. Which is fours and threes. Minus one. Re rolling. Threes. Three minus one. So four ups. Two twos. So that's two fail. And is it D3 each? Uh, it's two damage each. Two damage each, which would kill two liberators. It gives me a chance at refueling you. Yep. So you have to roll. Do you have to roll less than? Less than. So you need a three. I think it's equal to less than. We'll double check the ruling, but either way, it's going to be a four or a three. Get it. So there we go, Red Fury. Luke's just rolled a two, so then the dragon gets to attack the Liberators again. So yeah, because, because, because Luke, when he charged these guys in, has put that horse in the way, the dragon is actually more than an inch away from the Liberators, so the extra attacks now won't work against the Liberators because they're too far away. Right, so Lucy's going to hit back with the Liberators. 
against the Mortis engine. So three with the Prime, and it's got Lilo the Tyrants, and you're still a plus one because of cast uh, Celestant. Uh, one miss, and then you're wounding on threes. Oh my word, just one wound, no rend. No rend, four plus. Deathless minion. Yeah, so just one wound, that was really unlucky, that Grand Hammer not going through. So, what's happening next, Luke? Uh, my horses will go in, I think. Right, so next up is the Black Knights, and Luke's just actually read the rules for them, and they're pretty tasty. So they get six attacks on the charge, the champion's got one. But, they hit on fours, they wound on threes because they're charged this turn. So, two misses. Wounding on threes because it's plus one to the to wound roll on the turn that you charge. Oh, two. And it is worth noting on the turn that the charge is two damage. So, two forps. Pass one, fail one, so it kills one liberator. And then the horses? Yep. So they only get five, no champion horses. So just one attack each, is it? Uh, two attacks each, actually. So wow. Nice horses. You tend to find that with cavalry, the cavalry actually does more damage than the Crazy guys a lot of the time. Yeah. Fours and fives. Yep. Oh. Only a couple. Fives, no rent. Three. Three. No rent. One damage. Boom. All of them. Nice. It's really hard to see Lucy's dice actually, but there's two fives and another five. So I'm guessing you're now going to swing back with these, Lucy. Yep. So six normal hammers. And then three with the Grand Hammer. Six normal. Only two. One wound, no rend, Luke. No rend. Uh, that's four plus with my shield. Yep, and then the Grand Hammer. Uh, no hits. Wow. Not so good. Right, Luke is swinging next. What's happening next, Luke? I will use my other horses. Yep. And hit those liberators in the center. The hex rates are going okay. next. So the champion gets three, the rest get two. Your vampire lord's taking a dive again. Yeah. <laughs> One, two, three, four. And we are looking at fours and fives minus one. Minus one's quite tasty. Fours. And fives. Oh. One, two. Two. Two at minus one, Lucy. Four, because I'm still one. Uh, Reroll the one. And she passes them both. Nicely done. <laughs> Two each, is it? Yeah. And what do these need? Uh, oh, there's fours and... Uh, it doesn't matter. Fours and, fours and fives. So a few, fair few misses there. And you missed this one. So one more. Uh, that passes because you're still with uh, Castellan's ability at plus one armor save. So... Can you attack that? No, she's got nothing else to attack with, so, so the Mortis Engine. Mortis Engine. Uh, first up, I will hit you with my stick. The big stick. You're going to hit the Liberators with the big stick. So it's fours and threes minus one. So four, Lucy. Which she passes. That's a five. Spectral Post, because I've taken one, it doesn't really bother it, so I need 12. 3, 6, 9, 12. Any 6s is, is an instant mortal wound. 6 to hit, yeah? No, it's 5 to hit, but a 6 is a mortal wound. Yeah, 6 to hit is a mortal wound. Yeah. Yep, so 5's fishing for 6s. There's 3 mortal wounds. And it's a 4 to wound. So 3 mortal wounds. So kill the Liberator, leave the Prime alive loose on 1 wound. Oh. Is that everything? That's it. It's a battle shock. That guy actually lost four. So four plus D6. Six. That would be ten. So he runs, unfortunately. 
Right, let's move into Lucy's Hero Phase. Right, so we've done the Hero Phase and movement. Castellant has given plus one armor save to the Raptors. Yep. And Celestant has used his um, command ability on, well, with everything within nine. It's going to help himself, though. Uh, which is handy. Lucy's decided to drop the prime now. I think she knows that she needs to do some damage and fast, so it's nine inches away from all three units. Uh, of course, these raptors have pulled back to try and keep away from this massive horde. Uh, but across here, the ether wings are going forward. Uh, she still needs to move these ones, but I think with all of this, she's gonna try and take out the zombies. So, let's move them and then get on with shooting. Right, so the Prime is going to smash his Comet Strike Scepter into the middle here between these two front hex wraiths. So Lucy, roll a dice. So every enemy unit within four inches of that point, which is basically the hex wraiths, the dragon and the mortis engine, suffers D3 mortal wounds. Do you want to do the dragon first? Yeah. Dragon first, so D3 mortal wounds. That is two, because Lucy hasn't got a D3 dice. So two mortal wounds, Luke. Six up. Pass one, fail one. The hex rates. That's three on the hex rates. Six plus. I save one, one's dead. And then the mortis engine. For so just one. And the mortis engine? Just the one. And she passes. So not too bad. Not too bad. Kill the horse. Hmm. What's next? Celestin Tamas? No, please. The raptors? Yep. Okay. So at the dragon, so hitting on twos, re rolling. Nice. Wounding on twos. So that's three wounds. Minus two. Minus two rend. Four plus. You didn't get Mystic Shield off, did you? Did, you yeah. did, right. Yeah, I got a double six. So you did. So two, two fail. That's four, four death of minions because they are. Two damage, two damage each. Oh, nice. So that's four wounds. So he's lost nine. Ten. He's lost 10, he's only got four wounds left. What's next, Lucy? This unit. This unit of raptors. He's gonna go into him again. Yep. Right. Reroll the one. Yeah. Right, bad news for you, Luke. Two mortal wounds. Two mortal wounds. And then two to wound. One. So. I'll do the mortal wounds first. Yep. So six plus. No. They go through. And they have one to save, any friend? Minus two. two. So four plus. Left. Fails. Two, two damage. Two damage as Yep, well. it's the same gun. So, well, same crossbow. And that kills him. That's the four. Yeah, That's the four. <laughs> I told you they were horrible. <laughs> but that does mean that Celestin is now free to shoot something with his mortal wound hammers. Yes. So, D6 hammers. Yep. Oh, two. two. Who's it going at? The Mortis engine. Mortis engine. Four plus. Two. Two mortal wounds on the mortis engine. No, it's mortal wounds. Oh, mortal wounds. Mortal wounds. Uh, it's automatic hit. I've got no hero all over there. Wow. That's not so bad. Yeah, it's great. Right. You know, I'm up to three in the time. We've got all of this to fire now. Where are they going, Lucy? Or what's going first? Judicators is going to go into the... Zombies? Yep. Cool. The climb of the shock ball is the white dice. So threes. Uh, two misses, but the prime hits. Just the one. One and minus one. So it kills a single zombie. He's doing the hurricane crossbows now. Yeah, so the prime. He gets nine shots now because he didn't move. So he is hitting on threes and re rolling ones. So one miss. You're now wounding on threes, because I'm guessing the other two are going at the unit as well. Yeah. So that's four zombies dead, Luke. Five in total. Just from that one. So you've now got 18 shots from the other two crossbows. Right, so next we've got 18 shots from the other two guys hitting on fours, re rolling ones. <laughs> So she's taking the misses out. There's a couple of threes there. And then re-roll the ones. An extra three hits. And now you're wounding on threes because of the battalion. Yep. So 
So that's six, eight more. Yep. yep. Eight more. Eight, eight more zombies. Eight more zombies. That's how many killed there? Uh, 13. So you're at least losing a few with battle shock. So I'm wondering how many more she can kill. Maximum of six or seven though. Right. Charges. Charges, yes. Who is going where? So that unit of birds. Yep. The so unit. they're going for the zombies, are they? Yeah. Right. Oh, that one. This Sorry. one, yeah. Celestant. Eight. I'm guessing he's going to Mortis Engine. Yeah. No, 16. 16 she killed. And, I'll try and then the, for the Prime point. needing a nine. Seven, so not quite making it with the Prime. No, it was 13, so. <laughs> so, it was 13 zombies, was it? Yeah, yeah, yeah Right. Sorry. My maths is terrible. I am going to, straight to the phone back, I'm going to have a quick silver portion so I get the attack twice. Yep. First off, I'm going to go with um, Celestin. With Celestin, so he's got five attacks with his sword for, char for charging. Yes, so. And you plus one to hit. I am, so I'm hitting on twos. And you're wounding threes with the sword, is it? Yeah. That's three at minus one in your mortis engine. There's five plus. Yep. One wound. No death is maybe. Nope. And then the hammer. Three attacks. Right. I can't remember the I think the hammer hits on fours normally, so you'd be hitting on threes. Threes. One hit, threes. No wound. And I'm going to go with this unit of. The ether wings? She is because Lord Celestin's artifact is a quicksilver portion, which means he goes before the first round of combat. Right, okay. So the Aether Wings, two attacks each. Not bad, four hits. Wounding. Another two zombies. That's not bad. So I'm um, to go. Now you can go. And can he attack still? Yes. Who? Celestin? No, he's, yeah. done. he's done. He's done. Yeah, no, that was the... Okie doke. Let's oh. work those out. So next up, Luke's going with the Black Knights. Can we hold the dice in here? So just... What are they hitting on? Uh, fours and fours, no round. Two, fours, one wound, no rend. So Lucy has a four up on the libs and she passes. The horses attack. You yep. Get two attacks each. So I've got three, six... Ten attacks. Fours and fives, was it? Bingo. No red. Oh, Luke. Yeah. Uh, fives. Oh, Nothing. So now Lucy gets to go back. So I'm guessing you're going with the Liberators, Luce. Yeah. So six attacks with the hammer, and then three with the Grand Hammer. Your Grand Hammer missed again? What on earth? Uh, <laughs> so three wounds, no rend. No so I get four plus two because of my shield. Oh, one's dead. Two wounds apiece. Aye. Not bad. Not bad. So that's all of Lucy's units, which means Luke now gets to attack back with the mortis engine and the zombies. First of all, do the mortis engine. Okay. The zombies are cap. <laughs> If it's of any benefit, the Aether Wings don't have a save. Oh, they don't? No, they don't. Oh, they might actually die. They might actually <laughs> die. So, so that's no saves fighting no saves over there. Yes, but the reason Lucy charged it was to try and kill a couple more to battle shock you even more. To get it down. To get them down as Before fast as possible. Yes, <laughs> basically. Uh, so I'm going to hit you with my staff, which is one attack, fours and threes, minus one. Threes and so he's a four up save. Yep. But she oh, passes. Nicely done. Uh, so how many wins have I taken? I've taken four, which means my ethereal weapons are down to ten. Ten attacks with your ethereal weapons? Yeah. That's the horses that are pulling it, isn't it? No, well yeah, just all of Basically. <laughs> so we've got ten attacks now coming in. And six is a mortal wounds. But you're hitting on fives. Yeah. Nice. He does, yep, that's very handy. Well, it doesn't matter because I didn't. Oh, there's oh, a six. That's a mortal wound, but Lucy's artifact, five up. Oh, he saves it. 
Oh, brilliant stuff. The zombies. Yep. We're looking at piling in there. Yeah, we'll work this one out and come back in a yeah. second. Right, so that was, is it 10 attacks, Luke? It is. 10 attacks, sixes and sixes. So the birdies might live. <laughs> and they're alive. Right, I think that's Battle all attacks. Shot. So, battle shot. How many did you lose this turn? 15? Four, Thir eight, 12, 30. And then two in combat. No, that's it. I kept them separate, those ones. Ah, right. So 13 all together. How many is there now? 10 or 11? Oh, no, it was two. I kept those two as well. Yeah, so 15. Four. Yeah. And how many is it here now? 10, so I get plus one. So I'm on 11 bravery. Right, so you've lost 13, so you're losing, so you lost 15, so you're losing 4 plus d6. Yeah. So you're losing 7 zombies. Sorry, it's still alive. It's not good because you're just going to add another 10 to them. <laughs> yeah. And I don't think Lucy didn't lose a Liberator, did she? No. Uh, no, you no. lost a Black Knight, but you would automatically pass. Yeah. Um, because bravery 10. So, as a result of that, I believe it's now battle round three. Who's going first? Lucy gets a four. Luke gets a one. So Lucy is going first. Right, so hero fears. Castellan used his plus one armor save on Celestin, which means any sixes he rolls will heal him. Uh, Celestin's then used his plus one to hit ability. Movement phase, Lucy has basically moved the two units of Ether Wings about to optimize their positioning. And the Prime is coming this way for either the Hex Wraiths or the Mortis Engine, depending on who does what. So, shooting phase. What's happening first, Lucy? Right, so the Prime is going to use the Comet Strike Scepter on the point directly between the hero and the skeletons. So, even if she rolls a two, so yeah. So, D3 Mortal Wounds. Uh, is that your D that's a D6, so that's one mortal wound on your character. One mortal wound on the horde. So, Deathless Minion on the character, Necromancer, and Deathless Minion on the Skellies. So he's on separate one and there's lots of <laughs> And one skeleton down. Right, next up. The Hex Wraiths. Yeah. Okay. So two mortal wounds, no the two hits. Two hits, so two mortal wounds. Yep. And then two to wound rolls. One more, right. Two deathless minions. No, I don't get any deathless minions. Oh. You don't, so two mortal wounds instantly. And then one save at minus two end. Oh, that could be a six plus. Let me just double check. You've got a four plus save normally, have there? I think so, yeah. So it's a six plus. Yep. Which he oh. fails and it's two damage. So, so another one's dead? Yep. Uh, not me, Chan. <laughs> right, is going to do his um, D6 hammers into the... The Mortis Engine? Mortis Engine, yep, D6. So Two, four plus. No. No. So, this unit is going to shoot into this big zone of No, it's not. It's going to go into the... To the champion board. up here? Yeah. She's going to try and take him out. I forgot he's there, he's high. <laughs> so, all hit. Yes. Twos. So three at minus two. Three saves at minus two rend on this guy up here. That's six plus. No. Two go through, Four it's wounds. two damage each. Deathless minion. Oh, oh get it. That's unbelievable. Right, so these raptors are now going to shoot into this zombie horde down here. So, the prime hitting on threes, re-rolling ones because the ether wings are within 12 of the target. So just the twos miss, and then the ones are re-roll. Yep. And you're targeting them with all the raptors, so these are now wounded on threes. So we'll count up all the wounds afterwards, Luke, but that's four so far. Against, against these skeletons here. The big horde. The big horde. Uh, we've now got another 18 attacks, though, from these guys here. So, hitting on fours, re-rolling ones. It's not bad. It was a one, yeah. So, quite a number of hits. Wounding on threes now. Uh, 
I know that's a two. Plus the four from earlier, which makes 12 saves with no rend. So it's a five plus. Five plus because of your shields. Yeah. Oh, that's bad. One. Deathless minion. Deathless minion of six oh, up. That is bad. <laughs> Two. Ah, oh, ten dead. Plus the one from earlier. But you have 30, at least 30 left, so you'd be bravery 13 for when Battleshock happens at least. Right. Lucy, you've still got the judicators though. Where yes. are the judicators going? Uh, three. They are going into the sim unit. I've just fired up. All of them? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, D6 for the prime. Two. two. He's never rolled above a two yet, has he? No, so my dice is in here. This is here. <laughs> so that's five at minus one. Yep, which means no save. It's minus one rend, so no save because the shield only gives you plus one if there's no rend. So five deathless minions. That's five more dead, so is that 16 that's been killed? That's not too shabby at all. But uh, I think that is pretty much it for shooting. Right, combat. You've only charges to make, Lucy. Where's he going though? He's going straight in the middle. Straight in the middle, maybe yeah. split your attacks. Yep. Yeah. And he has the plus one attack for the artifact. He does, and he came in on turn two, so he'll, he'll have five, five attacks the all together. Ether wings, I'm going to charge him into the horses. Yep. Yep, there he is. Ether wings make it into the hex wraiths. And go on, I'll go for Salis Castellan. Castellan. Uh, six. six, that's six. not going to make it. Nothing. Nah, that's seven or eight inches. Yeah. 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 Cool. And is that it? Yes, that is. I think yes. Right, so who's going first? So, first is going, I'm going to go with my prime. The prime, right, let's clock up his attacks. Right, so Lucy is going with the prime first. She's going to split her attacks, two at the hex rates, three at the mortis engines. Now she is hitting on twos because Celestin is right there. So he gives plus one to the prime. So she's hitting on twos, wounding on twos. Two for the horses. Both hit. Three for the mortis engine. One miss on the mortis engine. So twos. Yep. And twos. One. So that's one at minus three for the horses. That's an all hit. So yes, three, three damage. damage. Three damage. Three damage. Kills one and wounds one. Yeah. And two for the mortis engine at minus three. That's all we hit. So that's, that's six, six damage. damage. Six damage. <laughs> so he's up to ten wounds. Yep. And that's ten that's wounds to hit. I should have tried it took the entire units because they have come back probably, can they? No, no. The hex rates can't no, come back. No. That's all right. Green things don't come back. Um, right. Um, what's his save? Three. Three, Three up. Plus. Yep. What about the ones around me? Two plus because I've given him a... a Casting's ability, so he's on a two plus. Uh -huh. Six is here the wound, he's on a three plus. They don't have save. Yep. He's on a two <laughs> Yeah. Well, I'm not getting through any of them, really. <laughs> oh, sorry, I'm going to go my mortis engine against the big guy. You're going for the prime. He's three plus, you said, yeah? Yeah, he's only... Uh... So that's two plus, three plus, three plus. Yes. Yep. So I may as well just go. Yep. Uh, so I'm going to go with his staff first. Do you know what's interesting though, Luke? He's not a behemoth, he doesn't degenerate. He's right. only got eight wounds. Eight? Eight wounds. He's not a behemoth. He's not a behemoth. You would think he was, wouldn't you? Yep, you would. He's a hero, though, but he so. is. But when you look at the physical size of him himself, yeah. he is literally the size of one of these guys. Please yeah. ignore the yeah, wings. They're in the middle. Yeah, the middle yeah and the twirly bits. Uh, okay, so I'm going to hit with my staff. Which is one attack, fours and threes, minus one. Hey. Right, now because I've taken an extortionate amount of wounds, ten, I am down to four. Four attacks now instead of ten before. Twelve is max. You had to, whoa. Uh, six is a mortal wounds, five's a hit. Oh! oh. <laughs> 
That didn't work. No. <laughs> so with that yachty of ones, Luke doesn't do anything. Lucy's going to swing back with these liberators now. Are you using the white dice for the grand hammer still? I am. <laughs> one hit. So one grand hammer hit, one normal hammer hit. Threes. And four picks, so you've got one at minus one and one more hit. I'll do the minus one first. The minus one is two damage as well, so obviously if you pass it... Oh, you won't have Deathless Minion, do you? No. Nah. No. So the minus one does two damage. So this is a six plus. No, so that's two damage and then one with no rend that does one damage. Uh, this is a four. Oh my god. So one's dead, one's on one. So that's three wounds all together. One's dead, one's on one. Yep. And then it's back over to Luke. Luke, what's happening next? Uh, it will be... I tell you what, I'll attack with me horse. horse. The Hex Wraith. Yeah, so he gets three attacks as his champ. Yep. And who's he going for though? The birds. You're going for the birds? Uh, oh. I'm sick of these birds. <laughs> Fours and threes. Minus one. Yep. So that, not that that matters. They don't have a So fours. Damage. Four attacks. And threes. Oh, God, yeah, of course. What am I doing? Sorry. Three attacks. All I can say is, um, yeah, it would be Right, well, the they all hit. They all yeah, hit, so... My apologies, sorry. Uh, so two go through. And what's the damage? One. One, so kills one bird. Oh, one the horse. Horse. horse is next. So one hit, no wound. So Lucy's going next with the ether wings down this side. Still three of them. So six. One hit. Doesn't kill any. Wow. Did not expect that in fairness. Right, back to Luke. So, these guys? Yeah. Uh, so, the champ gets an extra attack, doesn't he? Right, so the Black Knight's at the Liberators needing fours and fours. Oh, what? Horses. Uh, <laughs> Three each, is it, for the horses? Two each. Two each. Fours and fives. Come on, horses. Fours, three hits. Fives, one. Yeah. And she passes at her four up save. And a So four with a sword. So two, plus three, plus one. So three hit. And three. That's three at minus one against Three at minus one. So that's a five up, is it? Yeah. Passes two, so that's one damage. And then the hammer. Yeah, they hit. One more wound. No rend. No rend. Four up. No, so he takes another one. How many he's has he got he's left? He's dead, he's dead, that was it, that was it. 12, 12 wounds and he's on 12. Bang, there we go. So he he's manages dead. to take that out. Whoa. Right. You've got three zombies to attack back with, Luke. Fast. I tell you what, I'm going to love it if they kill something. Sixes and sixes. One hit. You're not going to kill one, though. Oh, it's got wounds. Two wounds. Yeah. Oh, right, so battle shock. How many did you lose here? 16. So uh, 16 got, is. Plus two, so I'm on 12 for every. So you're losing 4 plus d6. Oh, he's losing 10? No. Yeah? Yeah, 4 plus d6. Right, and lastly, four attacks from the Aether Wings at the Hex Wraith. Can they kill it? Oh, yes. Celestin's there, so it's threes are hitting. Threes to wound. Two wounds, Luke. No rend on the Hex Wraith. He's gone! Oh, what? <laughs> and with that, Lucy has decimated. Without, without the decimators, she has decimated. <laughs> Luke losing 10 altogether there to Battleshock, so that zombie horde has severely been cut down. And that is pretty much it. These guys didn't take any damage, and unbelievably, neither did they, so they don't need Battleshock, so they are going to get reinforced next turn. Uh, these guys are going to get some models back as well, as are these. But Lucy has absolutely... She's, what's she done, Luke? 
Look right, at what she's needed, done. She got the double turn. Right. She did. I needed that turn. Yep. Needed it. Yep. Oh, right, so Hero Fears turn three for Luke. These get D3 models back. So two, because uh, that's the maximum that they can go back up to. Now, correct us if I'm wrong, Luke, the skeletons get D6 models back. That's correct. For a full six. Makes up for taking the six with the battle shock, doesn't it? Yeah. Uh, these guys get D3 back, so that's the one that was dead. Yeah, just the one. Yep. Uh, where is he? He's over here. And then these zombies down here. D6. D6. Five. So they will go back in there. We've got a couple of spells to do as well. We'll see what Luke wants to do with those once they've been placed. Right, so this guy is going for Dance Macabre on the skeletons. Six. And he gets it. And I will pull. Uh, oh, it's I'll summon. I may as well summon ten more zombies. Ten more zombies. And he gets it. Okay, so movement phase, the Grave Guard have pushed forward. Luke's just placing the Vampire Lord down there. I guess you want rid of them ether wings. Yeah. Um, the skeletons are pushing forward this way, and the mage has moved and ran behind them, and the spirit host have finally moved and are going for Celestint Prime. So very quick movement after Luke moved all of the horde up. No shooting. No shooting. So charges. charges, but Lucy can move the ether wings. <laughs> 2d6 in the ether wings. Three inches. Which way are you going? <laughs> left or right? I'm going left. You're going left? Right, sorry. You're going right, this way. To towards these raptors. Right, so the ether wings have jumped up here. Luke, who is going next? These skellies. are the skellies, yeah? That's, oh wow, that is absolutely crucial. That's a shame. Yeah. Uh, Graveguard. Nine, Nine that's probably going to make it. Makes it? Yep. Get in, and we'll do the Spirit Host as well, won't we? Yep. Spirit Host seven. That's in. That's in. Get in. So, not too shabby for charges, and I'm guessing Lucy's possibly going to lose some of these guys down here. Finally. <laughs> Luke says these are horrible in combat. Yeah. We've yet to see them, but we'll see oh. what he's gonna go first with though, because there is a possibility that he wants to go for the prime. There's a possibility they might wanna kill the raptors. We'll have to see. Right, so Luke's decided to go with the grave guard first. So there's 11 attacks all together with the champion. Attacks, yeah. Looking for threes to hit first of all. You need that to wound though. <laughs> So we're now looking for threes to wound, but any sixes do two damage. So two, four, well actually, Lucy do your two saves against these. So you, the minus one rend, so five up. Pass one, fail one. So unfortunately two damage will kill one. And then you've got six, six saves at minus one to make. One, two, that's four that's gone through, so unfortunately that will kill the squad. Right, so next up Lucy is going against the spirit hosts, and Luke's playing it smart here because they ignore all rend. So Lucy has five attacks hitting on twos because Celestin is there. Four hit. You're wounding on twos. Three wounds, so four up, and for everyone you fail it's going to kill a spirit host. Three damage each? Three damage each, yep. Oh, that's yep. Oh, it just kills one. Right, and then that means it's back to Luke. So what's going next, Luke? Spirit Horse that gets six attacks each. Yep. And is it sixes to hit do mortal wounds? Sixes to hit do mortal wound, five does a, a normal wound. Yep. Hit even. So you're hitting on fives? Hitting on five, sixes and mortal. Get them sixes. Are you kidding me? Three hits. Are you kidding me? Three hits. I need to roll the wound. I am very relieved. Four plus. One wound. Any rend? No rend. Three up. And Lucy passes oh, it. Oh, good. So Lucy gets to go on next. So next up, Lucy's going with the ether wings. Six attacks, Lucy. Fours. Two, threes. Kills two zombies. Oh, I've got that first minute. 
You do, because he is within <laughs> the six up. So two zombies cut down there, which so means Luke gets to go next. Where are you going next? Horses. Over here, the Black Knights. So six attacks down here, fours and fours for one damage. No red. Oh, that's not bad. Wow, four wounds. Four ups. So one wound, but liberators have two wounds. Then you've got the horses, so two attacks each, was it? Yeah. And you were hitting on fours, wounding on fives. Not bad, not bad. Big fives. One. Reroll. And she fails, so one liberator is unfortunately killed. And you can't bring yours back. Right? No. <laughs> so Lucy now gets to attack back with the liberators. Three attacks with a grand hammer and four from normal hammers. One grand hammer hit and two normal hammer hits. Threes. One of each. One with no rend. One. So one, one with one no rend. And one at four. Which one's this? Rend. No rend, David. Right. And then the one with minus one rend. Five. Past it. Wow. And then that means Luke gets to go back. So zombies down there. One, two, three, four. Eight. So six zombies, sixes and sixes. Wow. Oh, come on, zombies. Oh, Nothing. So, I believe that is turn. So, Luke would pass, but Lucy, don't roll a six for them. She rolls a two. That's fine. So, that is the end of turn three. Who's going first on turn four? Luke needs this. Right, so, turn four. Uh, Lucy and Luke are just discussing it now and the thought was gonna be over quite quick, uh, especially with Lucy getting the double turn on two, three. But Luke is persevering, he's hoping that he gets a double turn here. Three, three! They've already just rolled a double five as well. Yes! And Luke is going first, which means he gets more reinforcements and more zombies. Oh. Well, my grip got a max. Yep. I can bring back more zombies, I can bring back more skellies. So, D6 skellies. Four. Four. And D6 zombies. Three. Three. I'll do, that's okay. Right, so hero fears. Dance Macabre on the skeletons. Six plus. Goes off. And Arcane Bolt on the birdies. Five plus. And goes off to D3. Kills one birdie. Right. Movement. So, moving phase, the champion and the uh, zombies are all moving forward towards the ether wings in the trees here. The grave guard are looking to take out the judicators. And the skeletons up here are heading towards Lucy's general. She's hoping, I think Luke's hoping to kill him on weight of dice. So, I think Lucy definitely needed a double turn there, but Luke is... Very grateful for it, so depending on how he does here, depending on who gets the double turned in 4-5, still all to play for. Right, so Luke has made it in with the skeletons down here. He's made it in with the grave guard down here, and the vampire lord and the other zombies have made it in at the ether wings, but he's going for Celestin and Castellan. We've counted it up, it was uh, 24 attacks at Celestin and 14 at Castellan. So fours and fours, was it? Fours and fours, no right. Jeez. And this is the ones that uh, sell us, the general, this is the 24. Yeah. Lucy does still have a two-up save on Celestin because of Castellan's ability. So she, she might survive this. Mm -hmm. Fours. I'll accept that. Wow. Not bad. No end. So three, six, ten. Ten wounds. A two so she fails a, wound, a save on a one, but a six will heal her as well. So she doesn't pass any, and she actually rolls six sixes. I don't feel any. 
You said plus energy. Yeah, that's what I meant. <laughs> so does that mean that she has 13 wounds now? 11? <laughs> <laughs> so he saves everything like a boss. 14 on the other guy. 14 on Castan. Castan's only got a three up though. Fours and fours. Oh my sweet Gideon. Wow. Five. Fours again. Three. No three right. wounds. Three up. Passes them. Wow, that was spectacular. <laughs> right. Lucy, what do you want to go back with next? Five. You're going with the prime? Yep. So five attacks hitting on twos because of Celestine's ability. Uh, wounding on twos. So that's, so that's four. four. And the uh, spirit horse ignore all rents. Four. Uh, kills both of them because it's three damage apiece. Jesus, sweet. You say that every time. <laughs> he, he's beefy. He's, solid, isn't he? he's beefy. He is solid. Right. Uh, okay, so I'll go with my graveguard. Graveguard down here. With two attacks each, Tommy gets an extra one. Eleven for the Tommy. Threes and threes. Threes and threes. But sixes to wound do double damage. Correct. So that would have nice. Been nice on the wound. Oh! So that's three. At double damage. For, they're doing two up. I'll do any rend. Minus one. So five up. So kills two outright, and then you've got seven saves of five up to make. And you've only got six wounds. Past one, which unfortunately is going to wipe the unit. So Luke has regained control of this objective. So Lucy's swinging back with the Liberators. Prime first. One, two, one hit, yep. And fails to wound. And then four attacks with a hammer. And doesn't hit. Back to Luke. So you're going with the horses. So that's fours and fours. So six. Six fours and fours. Nice. Oh, oh five right. wounds. Five wounds loose. One more. So re-roll the two ones. Two, two fail. So one liberator. One damage eight. And then the horse is attacked. So ten attacks, fours and fives. Door end, one damage. Nice, two more. But she passes. Back over to Lucy. So I'm guessing you're going with the ether wings. Yeah. On you've only got two left, yeah. Are you going on the small unit of zombies? Yeah. The small unit, yep. So fours. Yep. Yep. Freeze and freeze. Against the ether wings. And the dead. No armor save. D3H. D3H. Kills the ether wings, which means now Lucy now gets to go back. I can heal a wound. You heal a wound because you kill something? Yeah. Oh, that's not nice. So Lucy can now attack back with Celestin and Castellan. Yep. So Celestin. <laughs> These, they, they're going to die. His sword. Twos. Two at minus one. Two at minus one, Ren, so you drop the Deathless minion only. Six plus. Jeez. Kills two. I'm and good at that. Hammer, so I am threes. really good at that. And threes. There's another so two. No Ren, though, so you've got your five up. Followed by six up. So one more. And then Castellan gets to go on next. So threes and threes. No, twos Twos, threes. because it's Celestin. Three, two at minus one for two damage each. So four deathless minions. Jeez. <laughs> so that was, how many was killed there? Six? Yeah, I've got a count here. So oh, seven. Yeah, seven. Right, so battle shocks. Uh, how many zombies died down here? Was it just the one? None. 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 The ether wings, we need to remove them. So Lucy, don't roll a six for your liberators. Oh, I saw that. That's a three. And then Luke. So how many's left here? Uh, 15, 16-ish. Yeah, yeah. So bravery 11. 
We've lost seven. Plus D6 of two makes it nine, which means he doesn't lose any to Battle Shock. So, straight in with Lucy's hero phase. So, I'm guessing plus one to hit from Celestant. Yep. And where's Castellan going? Save. And Castellan's going on. On Celestant to keep him alive a bit longer. All right, let's move on to movement. Right, so movement phase. The Aether Wings have come down this way, and the Raptors are looking to pour some fire in here. The Prime is looking to secure it and possibly kill some of these guys. Lucy's pulled the Liberators out of um, combat with these guys, which is interesting because obviously Luke can charge back in next turn, uh, which meant he would have five more models over here. But we'll see what she's going to do. And the Aether Wings have leapt up there to secure that one. So as it stands, Lucy does hold two. She's looking to get three, but it's going to be difficult for it to get this one. So Lucy shooting fears. What is happening first? Well, I'm just going to shoot. Point as far in as for that. Okay. It's 24 inches uh, range, so because he's just over the line, it's going to be about there. So all models within D or all units within D6 inches. So it's pretty much this one. Yep, D6 inches, six inches so from you, that point. You hit the two zombie units. D3 mortal wounds. So the bigger unit. That's three mortal wounds and two on the smaller unit. Three and two. I'll keep this for battle shot, yeah? Yep. Right. Raptors. These are going to fire into them. Yep. Uh, there's a D3 dice there, mind. Oh. Um, two. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Twos again. Three and rend. minus two. Minus two rend. Minus two. Minus two rend. <laughs> Minus two rend. What's the damage? Two each. Oh, six are dead. Um, what, so just kill? Wow. Well, there's no save because of the what? minus two rend, and there's no deathless minion anywhere. Oh, leave them. So, this unit of raptors, where are they shooting? They are shooting at this. At the skeletons? Yeah. Two mortal wounds instantly, two hits, yeah, and. So four mortal, well four wounds basically, two mortal, two normal. And he passes two? Right, so charges, Lucy. Ether wings. Four inches, so they'll make it into these guys. Eight inches, we'll have to measure that. Three inches make it into the skeletons, the prime. So Where's four. That is the question. <laughs> yeah, two has got a massive thing. Yep. Right, so we'll measure whether or not the eight inches gets them in, but I think that's all the charges you're going to be able to make. Right, so the prime is going two attacks on the hero no, and three on him. Three on him yeah, two and on two him. on the skellies. Yep. So the hero plus one. Plus one to hit because of Celestin. I would have hit anyway, so that's three at minus three on your hero. So it's straight to Deathless Minion, how many? Nine. Uh, three, three each, so that's nine that you need to make. So nine six ups. <laughs> Makes one, and then you've got two attacks onto the Skellies. Two hits. One wound. Three damage. Straight off because uh, she killed the hero first. Right, so Luke's going back with a grave guard. Threes and threes on the ether wings. Nice. Sixes. Oh, look at that. So that's two damage each, which that's the six wounds for the ether wings, which Minus. is going to kill them. But Luke still has um, the champion to go against Lucy's Raptors. So three attacks, is it? Yeah, threes and threes. Yep. All hit. So two wounds at minus one rend. Pass one, fail one, so one guy would die. Back with Lucy, I'm guessing over here. Yep, um, Celestin. Celestin, so four attacks with a sword. Twos and three. So that's three at minus one round. How much damage? One each. One each. Straight through. So three. And then you've got two attacks with the hammer. Yep. Okay, threes and four. Another one and more end. No rend, so no full rend. five up, Luke. 
Oh. She fails. It's another <laughs> one. Actually, let's keep coherency. And I believe you've just got the skeletons to attack with. Yeah, yeah. Um... So five attacks against Celestant first from the skeletons. And it'll be fours and fives now because my necromancer's is dead. Yep. Fours and fives. One, One wound, one. two up. She <laughs> makes it. And three against that unit there. Against the raptors, yep. Fours and fives. Nothing. No joy. So now Lucy gets to attack back with everything else. So who's going first? Um, Castellan. Two, sorry, because of Celestin, and three. That's three at minus one for two damage each. So it's six. Yeah. yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then your raptors are going to pile in. Yep. I don't know if they're going to reach now. Three inch pile in, and then you've got an inch attack. So two can probably reach. One of them is your prime, so you've got your ether wing from the prime. Ether wing I'll do first. Fours and Threes, yep. Oh, threes and threes, actually. That's two at more end. And that's two at more end. Nice. Five plus. Get it. Say one. And then you've got two attacks from the heavy stocks from the raptors themselves. So two heavy stock attacks. Fours and threes, was it? Yeah. And they missed. And then you've got the raptor over here. The ether wing. Yeah, yep. One hit. One wound, no rend. No rend. I'm pretty certain it's a... And then you've got two heavy stocks, Luke. We'll check the save on them in a second. Two hits. It's that one more wound with no rend. So two wounds, no rend. Five plus. Get it. Oh, double six. Right. So. Battleshock. Battleshocks. How many did you lose here? He's dead. He's dead anyway <laughs> because of Battleshock. <laughs> How many did you lose here? You lost six. Six plus five. five Thirteen, so you bravery ten, so you lose three. We're six plus five. Is it eleven? It is, so sorry, you lose one. Uh, that guy. Uh, zombies have passed both units there. Yeah, there wasn't enough there to take any uh, battle shock. So. I'll do. Yep. Well, no, you're bravery seven, so you'd pass even on a six. Now, this is where it is crucial. Who Battle round five. Who is going first? <laughs> Two and a five. Death is going first, which means these guys get is a D3 back for them. D3 back. I may as well do that straight away. Just the one. Uh, zombies, this unit first. Bring back five. Ah, this is cheeky because the way that you do it, isn't it? Because then you bring the other unit back and then merge them. Yeah. yeah. So the other one. Six. six. Oh, God. One, two, three, four, five, six. And the old shambling horde. Yep. So that's one big unit now. Right, so very quick round for Luke. Now it is the last round, so it's all down to everything. So. This Lord has come forward, he caught Mystic Shield off on himself and he's going to try and take out the two Raptors here. Lucy's going to struggle to keep control of this one. But over here, the Black Knights have come down to take out the Liberators. Uh, so Luke might get this one, but I think Lucy might be able to get it back next turn, depending on what happens. So Luke charges this guy. What's up? About an eight. Six, we'll measure that up, but it might be a fail. And these guys have got a three. So he's out of range, is he? Yeah. Uh, and then the Black Knights have gotten that. So who's going first? I'll have to be... Uh, I'll go for the Grave Guard. Going for the Grave Guard. So they're going to get the pile in and attack. So threes and threes. So that's my plan. Four extra, I three, three, three extra, extra and the champion. So threes and threes. Yep. And I'm after sixes on the wounds. It's a few misses. Threes. Oh. Two at double damage. So minus, minus one, one for the two. No. Pass one, fail one. So one goes down, and then you've got two at minus one. And oh, so it leaves one guy on one wound. So I'm guessing you're leaving your prime. Oh, yes. <laughs> 
Right, Lucy gets to swing back next, so I'm guessing Liberators. Yep, um, Prime in this hand, normal guy in this one. Yep, so. Prime with the Grand Hammer. Oh, are you within nine? That's what I was just trying to go Oh, I am. You are within nine inches, so you're getting plus one hit, so your hammers are now hitting on threes. Which you oh. needed with a grand hammer. Yep. Uh, Wounding yeah. on threes. Oh. Luke, you're not going to like this. Three at minus one for two damage each, and one at normal. So, I need a six. Um, it's two two damage, damage each. Two, four, six, three, no. And then one at oh, one no rend. So that was three killed with the Grand Hammer and Luke passed the save from the normal hammer. Those are hitting back now. It's fours and threes. Best for the Grand Hammer but, game. Yep, it, it. but you're doing double damage. So you're doing two. So fours that's and threes. Normal, that's my champ, and that's my normal guy. Fours and threes. Oh, sweet. Yachty. <laughs> and then your horses. That's fine. So four attacks. <laughs> I almost came up on stuff. Fours and fives. Fours and fives, no red. One hit. Yes. One wound. So and she passes it. Jesus. So Lucy's going to go back with the prime down here. So the ether wing gets to attack yep. first. Fours and three. That's one. One wound. No rend. No rend. Five plus. Kills a grave guard. And he's bleared. Heavy stock. One attack. One more. No rend. No rend. And he yes. makes it. So, nobody takes battle shocks. In fact, you do, but you would automatically pass. I do as well, but it's fine. Again, everyone's automatically passing. So now it's Lucy's turn. So, plus one to hit for Celestin. Yes, and. Castle, and where's he going? On the Liberators, keep them there a bit longer, eh? Yep. Right, let's work out Lucy's movement. Right, so shooting. You're going with Celestin first? Yep, D6. Four hammers. Four plus the horses, so mortal wounds. So that's that? one, two mortal wounds. Two mortal wounds, wounds Luke. That's it, One's on one. Yep. Right, and. This one is going to shoot into these, two, into two. Uh, minus one, two rend, two damage. One, sorry, one, and minus, minus two. One rend. Minus, minus two, two rend. Two. It's two damage. Two damage. There's three now. Yeah, there's oh, three. Oh, is it just one? Yep. Yeah. One shot, two damage, so kills two. Nice. Long bores. <laughs> one prime's going for him. No? All three are. All three? Yep. I need to clear them. Just yep. So, twos. And Threes? Yeah. There's three and minus two. Minus two rend. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and then you've got his comet strike. That's going to have to go in there. In the middle of there? Yeah. I can't shoot anywhere else. Right, well, it's D6 inches and there's only one unit. So D3 mortal wounds. Two mortal wounds, Luke. And charging. Prime's going for him. Double one. Celestant. Yep, six. Maybe he's. Castellant, two. And the Raptors. <laughs> right, who are you going first with? Celestant. He'll make it round anyway. So the others have made it in, but this is where it matters, basically. Yeah, Lucy's going for Celestant. He charged and on twos. So four hits with a sword. And threes. Uh, two at minus one, one rend no, with your only sword. One. Only one. Only one? It's hitting on threes. One at minus one, one. yeah. So it's six plus. He's gone. It kills him. <laughs> and do you know what? We'll call it there, because Lucy controls this objective. She definitely controls this one. And she controls this one here. But Luke, Great. this zombie. zombie horde, I think these guys deserve moral victory of the game. They got down to three. Three models, and they're now back up to Go probably on, 20. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, what an absolute game. Handshake. You know what? It was so nice because it was so back and forth the whole time. 
it was hard to when, call. when she got the double turn she smashed you but then when you got the double turn you yeah. basically just went i don't care i've got more models uh, yeah and that was oh that was i made a big mistake in that loop off first i totally forgot how bad <laughs> how bad the dragon I was, was. when you said you in the hero face right? <laughs> 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 so yeah but wow what an absolute game it's been an absolute pleasure to film this it's always a pleasure coming down to battle bunker there's some amazing boards down here please check them out on facebook i will post a link in the description but luke lucy thanks very much for playing thank you for letting me film guys i hope you have enjoyed this brutal brutal game till next time